Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We are pleased to provide you with free piping educational videos that we have developed to improve your piping engineering knowledge and skills. This channel is ideal for beginners and seasoned professionals. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button to be informed about our latest videos. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our subscribers who became members to help our channel. In this video, we'll be showing you step by step how to read and understand welding symbols in the isometric drawings with easy method. Let's start our education video. Welding symbols are graphical representations used in engineering to communicate essential information about welds and welding processes. These symbols are standardized and allowing engineers to effectively understand for weld joints. The basic form of a welding symbol consists of three vital elements, including the following. Ado. The arrow points to the location where the weld is to be applied. Reference line. The reference line is the horizontal line that serves as the anchor for all welding symbols and elements. Designers are using the reference line to show the size of the weld and depth of penetration. The tail. The tail is the last part of the welding symbol, which is drawn at the end of the reference line and used to provide additional information. So, let's briefly explain each one of the basic weld symbols. Fillet welds. Fillet welds are one of the most common weld types in the industry. Fillet welds are defined in the American Welding Society AWS. This weld is used when the joint has two members coming together to form an intersection of commonly 90 degrees. The welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the fillet welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the fillet welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. When a fillet welding symbols are showing on both sides of the reference line it is called a double fillet weld and the weld is carried out on the both sides of the join. Sometimes fillet welds have circular symbols, which means that the weld will be around all perimeter. Groove welds are very common in the welding industry. In this video we will discuss bevel groove and v-groove types welding symbols. Befell groove weld symbols. A groove weld is defined in the American Welding Society AWS. A weld groove is space between two the workpieces. All groove welds require the removal of metal from one face, single groove or both faces, double groove of the workpieces. All the different types of groove welds contain similar features. Like the basic fillet weld symbol, the groove weld symbol consists of a reference line, an arrow line, the tail. If the groove welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the groove welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. When a groove welding symbols are showing on both sides of the reference line it is called a double groove weld and the weld is carried out on the both sides of the join. V-groove weld has bevels cut on both sides of the weld joint. There may be an angle above the V-groove weld symbol, which is the included angle of the bevels. Also, V-groove welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points top side,
If the welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side bottom side of the joint. Engineering drawings sometimes call for welds on both sides of the weld metal piece so that you will see welding symbols written on both sides of the reference line. Other welding symbols are also used in fabrication. We will share information about those welding symbols in our next videos. This education video is finishing here. If you find our content valuable, consider supporting us by sharing our videos and recommending our channel to others. Have a topic you're interested in? Let us know. We're always looking for new ideas to cover. We want to express our deep gratitude to all our viewers who have already subscribed to our channel. Your support is incredibly valuable to us and motivates us to produce high-quality videos. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We're excited to embark on this educational journey with you.